There it is. No Hard faithful. On the left. Oh yeah, she bounced over on the ride home. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, there it is. The old top ten Lucas Oil finisher. What if we put a new tire on the right rear? Oh, you'd have been a top five. That's what you get for being cheap. Won. You'd have won the race. The show would have been over. If you'd have had that new tire. Believe me, I've thought about it. I think we. Whose call was if it to put an old going, tire? I think we could have won. We never even like thought about putting a new tire. Who's uh, y'all just say? Oh, we're in the back. Well, we're starting twentieth. Well, let's bolt a forty lap old tire, tire on. It had titties on it. Yeah, it like it wasn't. But it had forty laps on it from the night before. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday night. Yeah. Thirty. All right. So there you go. We've already analyzed and we have come up with the the reason we didn't win. We had. I a, honestly think if we would have kept going like it was. Yeah. Um, this is a good point that's blinding me off the trailer there. this is a good point you know, early in the video that we're, we're unloading after all tech uh long trip i'm back by the way um glad i, I missed did y'all miss me because oh, yeah. i missed oh, y'all yeah. did joshua do okay yeah I he, he did oh he 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 was serviceable right y'all had to let us know how joshua did anyway uh we're unloading after four races and six nights i think ocala two nights at ocala uh miss it was supposed to be three races at all tech one of them got rained out um so it ended up being two races four races in total with lucas oil late model dirt series um joseph qualified for two of them uh and had one top 10 uh the last one saved the best for last top 10 finished with uh over 40 something cars in the lucas oil late model dirt series so not bad anyway we're getting unloaded from that and as we were going up here we we're talking about if you saw in the video from the last night at, at all tech that's the tire y'all were mounting at the beginning of the video, right, Jesse? Y'all were flipping it over? Yeah, we did flip it. All right, so we never came, Joshua never came back and explained to that, but we ended up going on that hard tire, which was the right call. I don't know. 13, 13, you think 1300, 1300 would've been race. better? 1300 won uh, the race. 1300 won the race? Pretty sure. I bet a, a brand new hard tire would've, would've been, who knows? But that tire, when you rolled out for the feature the other night, had almost 40 laps on it. And it only made it to like lap, huh. what, 35 or it, so? It wasn't like it wore out obviously there's plenty of trip right. but it just i guess it just was seasoned and kind of just lost its edge. cooked up right cooked and probably yeah probably it took lost more of the edges. edge off of it and yeah just didn't have nothing to keep me from sliding out on corner eight. luckily it was a 50 lap race and not like a 60 or 100 yeah, lap we race <laughs> anyway ended up eight if it would have could have but we ended up eight joseph's first top 10 finish with lucas oil series now we gotta get this thing unloaded and get figured out what's next we'll talk about that You hung up over. Oh okay, yeah, we're good now. Yeah, So our lift gate. Hey, starter works. Our lift gate uh, didn't leak. We're good. Good. No more leaking lift gate. That's a plus. Well, I'll say this: four nights of racing. And all you got is a wrinkled up quarter panel? That don't mean that we need to straighten them out. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot about that. It's kind of wrinkled over here a little oh. bit. It could have come home looking a lot worse, put it that oh, way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All the same body panels, though. We didn't have to change any, right? There you go. Who needs a four-wheeler? Just keep pushing. Okay, I think we might need a four-wheeler. <laughs> Man, technology these days. How do we ever survive without our steering buddy? Uh, All right, so goal is to get this one washed today, cleaned up from the trip. Then we got a lot of work to do over on that one in there. And this one over here. Are we still trying to take two cars to Southern? Is that the plan? Keep on with that. We keep on trying, so we, we haven't ruled it out yet is what you're yeah. saying. So next race will be definitely Jesse's car over here in uh this side of the shop definitely be taking it to southern raceway not this weekend coming up but next that's february i think 18th and 19th i think are the dates 17th and 18th, 17th and 18th something like that oh, double header thousand to win on friday 2000 on saturday you excited yeah. 604 re-debut oh, y'all yeah. saw uh several weeks back we got the 604 this is jesse's car from last year once got gator bait on the back of it uh pulled the 602 out of it put 604 in it and we're going to definitely be running it 
in about a week and a half, whatever it comes out to at Southern Raceway, Jesse will be running. This one, if y'all been paying attention, we brought in, bought the, uh, the chassis. It's a 2018 ch capital chassis. Um, got a bunch of parts. Hopefully all the parts we need for it. And we might try to stick this other 604 in it and make it out to Southern with two cars. Who knows if it'll, uh, it'd be a lot of work, put it that way, but it's not completely out of the question to make it happen. So we'll get Jesse's, make sure we get him together. And if we can and get this one together, we'll have two of them um, out there at Southern Raceway. See, uh, see, who can, see who can go the fastest, Joseph or Jesse. This is the right rear we were just uh, talking about. Both features at Alltech were run on this tire. Ran uh, 38 laps on it on the Thursday night feature, flipped it over, and then ran the entire 50 lap feature on it um, Saturday night. So when it gave up, or when Joseph started sliding back, whether it was a tire or not, that tire had, at that point, 70 laps on it. That's a lot to ask out of a right rear tire. I guess that's just a lesson learned on our part, even if you're starting the back of a race, it makes sense unless you stick an old tire on. We might have been, uh, would have been better off probably with a new tire. So step one over here appears to be bolt the rack on the car. Yeah. Is this thing fresh? No. No? No. Kind of something that old boy had that something we come up with. Okay. Supposed to be good though. <laughs> Supposed to be good. Yeah. But not fresh. But but it's not our spare rack. We no. still got a spare one. That's right. I guess is the good thing or what we're trying to do with this car is bolt it together but not use all our spare parts. Still have spare parts. Yeah. Something like that. I'm sure we'll wind up using some of it. But is this the uh same uh yeah, servo? servo? Yeah. And the lower section of the steering column, you got the other, the just the yeah. collapsible yeah. part. Yeah. Right. So that'll hook to the rack down there. And then somewhere, there it is right there, is our collapsible steering shaft that connects on this end. And the steering wheel goes, put disconnect right there. Hope y'all can see what I'm pointing to down there, but it goes on there on the spine. Then you can adjust it in and out, get it where you want. Oh yeah, there you go. Hey buddy. Need me to hold this up in here? Yeah. Can. I can't reach it. Oh, I got it. Got it. Sounded solid to you, didn't it? Yeah, it sounded right. I mean, you the one driving it. <laughs> it comes off. The steering shaft comes off in the hand, we know why. Yeah. Jesse, don't move. This is a very important shot. I'm showing them here. What? Your high waters. <laughs> I just put my shoes back on because oh, they okay. was wet. I left them sitting there in the I sun. See. Well, you look good. I like your high waters there, nonetheless. I got a haircut and stuff. Like I said, you look good, Jesse. Thank you. You look good. I've got better blue jeans on, but you know. <laughs> When you've been gone for seven <laughs> yeah. days, you kind of you're I not caught up on laundry, laundry, huh? I've not done laundry. I ain't doing nothing. Now it's jammed. Ooh, jammed. Now I can't make it slide back home. Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you pull it off. Of me. <laughs> Did you break it? Well, this might actually be a good thing in disguise so now i can just slide the hive on that side then put it back on we forgot gonna fit the hole. yeah so i gotta get it off over here again <laughs> but i think it might be i don't know if that's just supposed to, yeah i don't know all right so that hive has to go in here and on there right yes and we forgot to put it on well, now we, we didn't have get, it well, we didn't i have went it. and found we it and found one mm -hmm. but uh now we can't get the darn thing back apart mm. Mm. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right. Put that back there. Like so. This here. And we're going to want to put that there. Boom. You got it? We're on. You're going to want to make sure that's tight. 
Yeah. And that your home stays free. Like so, and then voila! Boom. Now you have. Oh wait, well, you, know, you gotta right. tighten it all. Then oh, you'll have a you steering column. You gotta get column. a seat really here. Need to tighten it. Yeah, until we see where it needs to be. Yeah. So this swivels. Do it up and down. There you go. So that swivels right there. So not only can you adjust the column in and out, you can adjust it up and down right there. Yeah. Tighten those up. And now, then, and then you can. You gotta get these good and tight, or that thing be moving up and down. Yeah, I know. One, that yeah, one time you said you was holding the wheel. Because we didn't have it tight enough. All right, steering yeah, column. Right in, hold it up and down. Yeah. <laughs> Get confusing. Yeah, like that. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, steering column. Check. Check. Until it gets in there and we get it exactly where it needs to be. Nothing's going right. I have. I, I hurt the slug. I don't have the right one. All right, so we're getting started bolting on front end components. I think we're to a stopping point on our left side control arms. Didn't have everything we needed. Maybe we got what we needed over here. Maybe. We're about to find out. Good. You know if I had a screwdriver? Got it. Nice. Let's see what a little you need to there you go. Pull it back. ain't no good but bolts in no, i'll thread it with a butt with a nut <laughs> re thread with a nut yeah cross it or not oh, top yeah. tight oh, yeah. now what you need here is this, need to be is this bolt me what i need the <laughs> shim goes on top hey jesse now's your chance to not bolt something on right yeah i'm so gonna to slow him down hey i gotta slow him down a little bit this one's this is my competition that goes on Where's top. Where's that little shim? I got it, it goes in between. It goes in between right I here. know. Okay. Like that. And then that little thing. Well, listen, I'm bumping this on there. Here we go. Why Because there's paint in it. There's paint in the everything. Get it just a little love tap, it good. You don't need to, see now you won't be able to get it. Well, I just gotta come back down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now the shim goes in there. Yes. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I tried freaking in my finger. <laughs> Stupid. Man, I'd have had this thing over there in 30 minutes. <laughs> Look, bring me some of the A arm here. It ain't close. Something ain't right. Hey, <laughs> we're smarter than this freight <laughs> car. <laughs> okay, so as y'all were watching there, we couldn't get the the strut there hooked up. The way we amended or fixed that without changing the length of the hum there is we put the back on first and then come around here and put the bolt in the uh, in the control arm in the front. Joseph also went and grabbed a spare and bolted it on instead of the new one over there for some reason. Yeah. I don't want you know. I don't want to be bolting new parts so on. When else are you going to bolt it on? <laughs> oh, yeah. That went in there. Didn't it? That's in there. Whole thing snug up, eh? What we're looking at, we're trying to make sure we're clear right here. We let it down a little bit. There's a notch right here. We got to make sure this clears it and goes up in there. You get on this side, you can you get see it better. To get all that travel. I have them travels. I have all the travel. Watch Ready? this. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom. Just hitting back here like yep, so. that's, that means you went as far as you can go. Yeah. When the, when it hits the frame. Yeah, if it's way up here, like okay, there's your where your top shock mounts. Mm -hmm. So I mean, yeah, that's as far as it'll it only won't even it won't ever go that far. No. You're gonna be bouncing off the ground anyway if you go that far. You can't go that far. Yeah. One of the things you can't do. Quite impo almost impossible. Mm -hmm. How you skin a knuckle? Tech tip of the day. Of the day. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're going to have a nut or a bolt that is against the side of the hind. Yeah. You see how that when we tighten that up. So mm -hmm. you're going to want to take a file 
and file off the point of the inside of that nut right there so that you're that way you don't uh, disrupt the travel of the hymen because see how it is right there now obviously it isn't tight there's a gap here but you can if, if it was tight here watch this well <laughs> it's not been it's not gonna move <laughs> but if it was tight you wouldn't be able to pull that hymen that all the way up here because it would it be hit you know so mm -hmm. what you saw it's as simple take a file to your nut or bolt head whichever one would be against the end of the hymen I guess get you some clearance. So it's, it's a lot easier with a little bench grinder. Mm hmm But I don't really got one of those around here. See, I mean, I hadn't quite got it yet, but you just want to take and knock that little bit of the, the point off. Right. So that way it uh, gives you more room for, more room for your hind legs. Mm -hmm. Joseph got the uh, the right front is on. Tie rod, control arm, spindle. Just need a hub. We were missing some things over here on the left front. We can't put it together yet, so we only at a standstill there. And the shear shearing staff, the shearing staff. steering shaft is in there. Okay. Okay. A little bit of headway. Yeah. And Jordan's got us cleaned up out here. Tires washed. Poor old Jesse's car. When are you going to go to work? Yeah. What'd you do today? <laughs> I, I just hope he's really getting that thing right. Yeah. Because <clears throat> things have changed since the last time we're on the track together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully no, neither of you is lapping the other one this time. Uh, all right. So we stuck this. I mentioned earlier we already got this 604 stuck in here. This is what Jesse ran in the 602 division. Pulled it out. It's over there. 604s in it and we haven't done anything we worked on this thing and then we pressed pause and we got ready to go down to ocala and uh all tech so now we gotta get back to work on it first thing we gotta do we're gonna crank this thing up because it's been sitting here a couple weeks now and uh y'all know how we tell you all this time it's the 85 you don't want to set up let it set up so we're gonna fire it up and let it run a minute oh yeah what you want me to do you gonna spin it oh yeah go ahead That starter works. Ready? Yeah. have a throttle rod and well springs. we robbed my springs for the supercar no imagine that joseph taking stuff off my car imagine that you're gonna need those back i'm gonna need them back all right that thing runs <laughs> gonna need them throttle springs back that thing runs obviously we gotta get a body on it uh accelerator rod and and springs on it and one other thing we're going to do with this thing we're going to pull these uh hubs and rotors and all back off and we're going to make them floating some uh, stock tech floating rotors like we put on Joseph's car um, a few weeks back. And for all the smoking, that was the... Yeah, it was the headers. Yeah. WD-40 or uh, what we put on tra there? Uh, Transmission fluid. Transmission fluid. That's how you keep your show and filled headers looking looking nice. It keeps the, the rust, rust off. off. Of and then when you crank it up, though, it smokes like crazy. Burning it off. Anyway, this one will be ready. We'll get to work on it. It'll be ready for 
week and a half from now, February 18th and 19th at Southern. This and on the other hand, you got some work to do. Me and Jesse, we're pretty good over here. Yeah, me, we ain't this got is what, This is our project, yeah, right? So you and Jordan, <laughs> y'all better be getting work, all I know. Anyway, that's, um, stay tuned. We're gonna try our best to have two of them out there. That's a week and a half away. Not this weekend coming up, but the next out at Southern Raceway. Uh, we did get this one cleaned up. It's next event. Sonoya, right, with this one? I think, yeah, in March. We're putting this one up until March. It'll be our next super late model race uh, up at Sonoya Raceway. That one is still waiting on the SB2 engine, so it's uh, it's got a, got, a, got a while on it, but we'll get on it soon. Anyway, thank y'all for hanging out with us today. Y'all let us know. I asked at the opening how did Joshua do. I meant to ask, uh, tell him to ask y'all to let him know um in one of his videos he made over the weekend how he did so y'all let us know how he did and if he was a good uh good fill in while i was out anyway thank y'all for hanging out with us like comment subscribe and we will see you later good job jordan